Mavis the Pony. Mavis the Pony and the Circus, to be precise. Mavis lives in fluffy gardens, a wonderful place to live. Our story begins with much excitement. The news was spreading quickly. Poppy the Tiger told Tooty the Elephant. Tooty the Elephant told Mildred the Moon. And Mildred the Moon told just about everybody. The circus had come to town. What's a circus? asked Mavis the Pony. That's a circus, said Camille the Crocodile pointing to a very large and very colourful tent. Oh, said Mavis. You mean a tent? <laughs> the circus, Camille corrected, is what's inside. Mavis couldn't wait to find out what was inside that colourful tent. As she stepped very carefully towards it, she realised the big tent wasn't just big. It was huge. <laughs> Mavis stood outside. She had no idea what could possibly be inside. And then something moved. A flap in the tent opened. It was a penguin. A little penguin with a funny red nose, colorful hair, and very large pants that could only be described as ridiculous. He honked a little horn. <coughs> Mavis laughed. She thought the little penguin was very funny. The penguin toddled off, and then he tripped and landed on his bottom. <coughs> oh, dear, said Mavis, and ran to help the little penguin. She was very concerned. <coughs> you poor thing, she said. You must be so careful especially in such big shoes. You don't want to scrape your knees. She gave the penguin a little hug to make him feel better. But then he tripped again, flipped all the way over and bounced back onto his feet. <coughs> Mavis was amazed. He wasn't hurt. He was laughing. And as he tumbled over and over, Mavis began to laugh too. The penguin honked his little horn once more. And then smiled a big smile. Thank you, he said to Mavis. It's lovely to meet someone so caring. I just wanted you to be okay, said Mavis. I am, he said. And because Mavis had been so nice, he gave her tickets for seats right up the front. The front of what? asked Mavis, still with no idea what was inside the huge tent. You'll see, said the little clown, and he honked his horn once more, before toddling off with a big laugh. And that evening, Mavis the Pony and her friends showed their tickets to the little penguin outside the tent and then they went inside to see the circus. It was spectacular. There were penguin acrobats swinging overhead and performing the most amazing stunts. There were penguin jugglers and one who spun plates without dropping any. There were the penguin clowns who tumbled, laughed, and threw buckets of confetti all over each other. They were very funny. <laughs> Mavis waved to her new friend, and the penguin clown waved back. Then he ran up to Mavis, took her hand, and brought her right into the middle of the circus ring. <laughs> The little penguin acrobats jumped one on top of the other and they passed Mavis up, up, and up, all the way to the top. I'm not sure I like that. 
that at all, said Mavis. But then she laughed, and everyone cheered. It was an incredible night. Thank you, said Mavis after the performance had ended. No, thank you, said the penguin clown. We wanted to do something special for you because you had been so caring. Mavis smiled. It had been a very special night indeed. When it was time for the circus to leave, Mavis was quite upset. <laughs> but they would be back and she would see the penguin clown again very soon. As he left, he gave her a present. His little horn. Mavis honked the horn and waved goodbye. And from that day on, any time Mavis the pony tripped and fell, she would honk the little horn to remind herself of her very good friend. Of course, being so very careful, Mavis doesn't fall down all that much, so it's not a sound you'll hear often. But if you do, don't worry. You'll usually find her laughing.